On today's episode of Sonic Screwdrivers, the next generation, we're going to look at the work of a young man who's relatively new on the scene. Scarecrow Props, James Sutton, young man that apprenticed under Nick Roboto himself in Nick's shop. He's 17. I own Sonic Screwdrivers older than him. For that matter, I probably own t-shirts older than his parents. But, well, you know, Young minds, fresh ideas, as they said in Star Trek. So, Romana's sonic screwdriver was always one of those that was up for debate. You know, it showed up really quick, and you know we had the chance to do some fast interpretations of it off of videotape, frame by frame. Video was fuzzy enough as it was. And then, as the years go by, we can get better images, but still, it's off of 1970 stock, so, you know, maybe not so much. So we'll add some ideas and some details and just, you know, make it a little bit more fanciful. But then someone comes across exactly what they need to find. Scarecrow, or Mr. Sutton, depending on how you want to refer to him, came across video of Sarah Sutton going through with the presenter a box of props from Doctor Who, and among them was Romana's Sonic Screwdriver. It survived a decade of the show being used on and off here, and there's a random object. And he managed to get in touch with the right people and get the right information and get the details he needed. So... One of the things that most people are quite sure of is her sonic screwdriver is a quick lash together that was made out of an antenna, possibly from a CB hand radio or something. And this take on it really does show what looks like the origins of an antenna. You've got your screw mount hole at the bottom. You've got your ridges for where the shaft would sit so that way it stays put. You've got the closed down portions of the antenna. You've got ribbing for where a rubber add-on would go on the end of the antenna for protection. And of course, like the original, decorated with a few colors of gaffer's tape. The machining on this is very, very clean, especially for someone who's young and new to the art. But then again, he's already established himself with an excellent reputation for being able to make classic replicas. And for someone who is well over twice his age, I have to say, you know, seeing young enthusiasm for things that when I was a kid, long before he was born, I was very enthusiastic over. It really, really just shows the timelessness of Doctor Who and the hook and interest in the product. So here we have Scarecrow Props, Romana Sonic Screwdriver, based off of some excellent research, some excellent finds, and Mr. Sutton's very, very talented work. I've got to say, kid impresses me. <laughs> 